like a free-for-all. They blew the whistle and people are going bananas. This is crazy. All right, so today, my first time ever, I'm going to the bins. It's only about two miles away from my house, but I've just never gone. So we're gonna check it out. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully I find some good stuff and it'll become part of my um, my routine for thrifting. I'll add it into my repertoire. So anyway, we're gonna hit that and then we're gonna go to a local thrift that's doing a 50% off sale just today. So let's see what happens. All right, let's go see what's going on. Place just opened one minute ago. Everybody's in the clothes. No one but one guy is touching the hard goods. That's perfect. Bunch of crappy shoes. The back room is bigger than the main room. Marshmallow gun. I saw this at my Goodwill. National Library of Congress. National Library Service for the Blind. That's interesting. It's really heavy. Golf clubs. What we got? Dunlop. Man. Ram putter. I'm gonna look up this recorder. How sad is this? Somebody's wedding album is in here. It's in perfect condition. And it's got all the pictures. Look at that. New carts coming out, everybody's lining up. I'm gonna have to run somebody over, I think. Oh, look at them. Go. Jesus Christ. Oh, calm down. Don't be rude. You don't have to snatch out of my hand. I didn't want it anyway. That's what I mean. <laughs> Got the rude ass Haitian ladies. I was just moving that pair of shoes and she snatched it and gave me an attitude. I didn't even want it, I was just moving it. But that's how they are. Attack the bins, cause they're looking, all these, they're looking for shoes to send to Haiti and clothes. So they can rush and do their thing. Like this rude ass lady right there. And then I could come along after and find things like a Costa hat that they have no clue about. Or a Tommy Hilfiger messenger bag. So let them be animals and I could be calm and still find good things. All right, so they rotate the clothes every 20 minutes. And in the hard goods, which is just this double row, she said it takes a little longer because more people want the clothes and they have a lot more clothes. But I've been here about a half hour and I was here right when they opened and they're already about to take these out and bring out new ones. Now they're changing just the one row between the end row and the fence. There's like a two foot gap in there. That's gonna be crazy. Everyone's got this jam in there. And they're off. Go, go, go. Look at it. They brought out only three little bins and they're packing them in. 
so they can do their thing and then I'll go look after. Go! After all those people looking through the three new carts, let's see if I can wait till they all leave and go over and still find something good. All right, that aisle cleared out. Now let's see if I can still find something good. Roll that. Les Paul Xbox Guitar Hero. All right, so after that rush, I still went through and I got two Guitar Hero guitars, a Dungeon and Dragon game, and a few other things. So my lap is full, I can't carry any more. I'm gonna go check out. All right, first time at the bins is a success. I spent two hours in there and I kind of figured it out already. I'm gonna go by the local thrift, 50% um, off sale, see if they got anything going on. And when we get home, I'll show you what I scored today. All right. Let's go check bags first. No, it's okay. I'm just going to stay right here. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Be careful behind you. It's kind of yeah. It's always a... Huh? <laughs> it's, so, it's always a maneuvering thing. That's, that's yeah, that's all right. I'll manage. You seem to manage every time. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> right. I appreciate it. I don't see nothing in the bags. Always check out the stationary Fisher space pen. Some sort of pen. A carry case, two of them. And now finding the refills. Worth a shot, 50 cents. Just looking in the tool section. Found the vintage plumb bob. I'll show it to you later. It's marked two bucks, so it'll be a dollar. Always look at the random tools. If you find things like this, wrenches and so forth, and that are snap-on, snap-ons are good money. This isn't. We have these cool old old toys. Soldier of the World. 1998 dated. 20 bucks on eBay. $50. No way. Finding some cool electronics. Here's a Sanyo Scriber, Memo Scriber, with foot pedal. But it's got no power plug. Also, here's a Radio Shack phone line recorder. You can record your phone conversation. This would be a dollar fifty. Again, no power plug. That's not a big deal. This one has a specialized plug, though. So I don't know. I like old electronics. Pretty cool. They had the plugs. I'd buy them. All right. So at the bins. Only the clothing goes by weight, so I found two Guitar Hero guitars. The black one is the Les Paul Red Octane. Both are for Xbox 360. And this one is just a Red Octane. Um, I just comped them. This one has comps in about $39. And this one in the mid-30s. And I paid $2 each. So hard goods are priced differently, not by weight. Which isn't too much better than going to the store directly. But it is what it is. And these were found after that mad rush. I calmly went through. Because those people are looking for totally different things than I am. Also grabbed this tape player. Library of Congress. It's, it's a tape player for the blind. So it has large, it has braille buttons. Different speed controls. And there's a bunch of sold comps for in the $90 range. So I still have to test it. I wasn't able to test it over there. I only paid two bucks for it. So if it works, great. If not, I'll either junk it or see if I can even sell it not working. You know, for 20, 30 bucks. Also, when I found the guitars after everybody left, I found this Dungeon and Dragon starter set. And I know Dungeon and Dragon stuff sells good. It's got a big following. Some of it is expensive. So it was an open box, but I looked on the back to see what's included. And it says 64 page adventure book, which is this. 32 page rule book, 
boom. Five pre-generated characters, which five sheets, I guess that's how the characters are. So I got that. And six game dice, which here are still in the bag. One, two, three, six die. But there was also this one and this one in there. And these got Amazon labels on them. So whoever had this must have purchased these separately. And I looked these up and each one of these sells for $10 as well. So it's 10, that's 10 or 12 each. And then the game is in the 20s. And something crazy, when I was looking these up, this set in orange, these are green and gold, these are purple. If you find these in orange, let me show you the craziest comp for a pair of dice I've ever seen. Are you ready to get your mind blown? Do it! Oh, if one of those were orange, it'd be a great day. Also got this Costa hat. Never worn, it's got the cardboard in it. If you don't know Costa, I don't know if you can see the label. It's um, big fishing. It's big down here where I live in South Florida. They make really good sunglasses and outdoor clothing, fishing wear. So I don't know, maybe this is 15 bucks. And this, was, this went by weight. And I also found this one Midland little walkie-talkie. There was just one, it would have been nice if there was a pair or a base. But there's people out there that will have these, you know, and one stop working, or they want a, another one for their set. So, and there were single ones that had comps for about 10 or 12 bucks. Also got this Tommy Hilfiger. It's a canvas messenger bag, and like a faded blue, red, with the brown leather trim. That went by weight as well. And now this last item, when I pulled it, there was a guy, he was going through all the clothing after the rush. And he was looking, you could tell he was looking at tags and he was looking for certain brands or whatever be the case. And he saw me pull this out as he walked up. And he looked at me and he goes, you found a good one. I mean, I don't think it's that great. I mean, it'll, it has comps about $20 or so. But I guess for whatever it was, 50 cents it's worth. Phantom of the Opera. On the jerseys made in USA. Single stitch. 1989. Size extra large, which is a good size. So I don't know, I'll probably list it for like $25, see what happens. So gross sales are looking at about 170. And then depending on the recorder, if that works, those comps were $90, that'll bump it up to 260s. Sound gross. So I spent 15 bucks. All right, then at the 50% off sale, I really didn't get much at all. But I got space pens. I don't know if you ever heard of these. Fisher space pen, like these little miniature pens. And they were 50 cents each. They were made for like astronauts in outer space. They write underwater, they write in freezing cold, um, extreme heat, upside down, whatever be the case. And they also had a box of of refills for 50 cents. So I grabbed those, so that's $1.50. I gotta comp them out. Let me see what they go for. All right, these seem to have comps about in the 20s. These are from 1980s. All right, and the only other thing I grabbed from the store is this vintage plum bob from Cooker. It's a 12 ounce bob with the string. I believe that's brass. Some of these comp in the 70s if you got a like a one or two pounder. This one I believe is in the 20s and it was marked two dollars and anything more than a dollar was half off. So these are all 50 cents they stayed. This one I got for a dollar. So I spent a whopping two dollars and fifty cents at the thrift store on a half off day. They just didn't have anything that was good for resale today. All right, so our first trip to the bins was pretty good. I already got it all mapped out how that place runs. You know, it could go anytime. I'm gonna go in the mornings first thing. And it wasn't hard to do. Right down the street from my house. So I'll definitely be making a trip there a few days a week. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my first trip to the bins. I did. If you're new here, you like this type of content, I put out a few videos a week. Usually a thrift vlog, a what's sold vlog. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. And I'll see you later. Bye.